Hello, family. Welcome back. Hi, sis. Good morning. 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 Lesson 207. We're in the reviews. Wonder how I could read this with different inflection so that it has deeper meaning. Did you just trust? Yes. I am not a body. <laughs> <laughs> I am free. Right. For I am still as God created me. I am not a body. I am free for I am still as God created me. And so this that means, but if, wait a minute. From, if we're to be completely honest, most of us still believe we are a body yeah. on, you know, as students of the cause, that, that, that we're spirit and we're the body. Mm. I am <clears throat> spirit. Mm -hmm. So you're in the gap and out of the gap. Uh-huh. Wow. 50 50. <laughs> yeah, just in case one doesn't work, just in case God doesn't show up. Right? I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to keep my independent will just in case God fails. <laughs> oh, man. And he says, people who ever thought that, could oh, believe God. that? You know, well, that's a pretty decent thought until you recognize that the gap and the wish for an independent will is pure fear and hatred and will never pay off, you know. So it's not till you see the nature of what it is or the effect of that choice until you're very clear that that choice for an, a will apart from God only can result in fear, failure, and death. Yeah. Whew, that's a sobering thought. Now it's like, maybe I should just give it all over to God. I mean, it's his anyway. Okay, so in our surrender, I am willing to accept today that I am not a body, that I am free because I am still as God created me. I am not a creator apart from God. I am the effect. God is my creator. Beautiful. Okay, so this is looking at lesson 187 which is entitled, I bless the world because I bless myself. What the hell does that mean? Well, I feel like instead of waiting for the world to bless me, the world becomes blessed only as I bless myself because the world is the product of my opinion and definition of myself. I first decide what I am and the world rises to reflect that. Thank you. How's that? Is that good? Okay. Yeah, size. <laughs> Here we go. Here's a prayer. God's blessing shines upon me from within my heart where he abides. I need but turn to him and every sorrow melts away as I accept his boundless love for me. Mm. That's the turning away from the world. That's the turning within to our heart or the Christ child the truth. I need but turn to him and every sorrow that seems to be external melts away as I accept his boundless love for me. I am not a body. I am free for I am still as God created me. And flipping back to 187, he's really emphasizing in this, in this lesson again that there is nothing that we can share or extend until we have accepted it for ourselves. And I'm talking about of the truth. We're constantly extending and sharing and strengthening, but we're either extending reality or we're extending fraud, fear, errors, nothing, nothing that's real. So it, it's a concern, sis, right? What's that? When we're really when we're, when we've fallen for concern, fear, fear for loved one, for a loved one's health or what or our own health or whatever. Yeah. And oh, then yeah. colluding with others, mm -hmm. that fear. That's, That's right. What we're also talking about, right? Yeah. Just a couple of few lessons ago, we've all decided that what, what, what is one and holy is now fragmented and we've divided everything up and we've put spaces in between objects and we've all labeled those objects and it's all fear. And we're all agreeing to these fearful images. And then we talk about them 
And when a friend or loved one seems sick, it's like, oh, you know, sympathy and we collude with it and we see it, we agree, we attack by enforcing these illusions, by adding witnesses to what's never been true, all looking in the dark and all nodding in agreement. Yes, we're all insane. We're all seeing the same illusion. We're all agreeing to its reality and we're letting it govern us unto death. Yeah. Yeah. And there's another way, you know, to be part of the solution um, to receive something from Holy Spirit and then to share it, to extend it to a brother. We still don't own it. It's like we, we're given that illumination in our mind. And when we take that and transcend self-interest and extend it truly, share it to strengthen it with a brother. And then we, we see the fruit of that sharing with a brother. That is the certainty that dawns in our mind. When our mind is certain, it becomes our own. So this is the way that it happens, it, it occurs. And I wanted to look at this paragraph three um, on lesson 187. He says, ideas must first belong to you meaning you have to have it before you give it. If you are to save the world, you first accept salvation for yourself, but you will not believe that this is done until you see the miracles it brings to everyone you look upon. There's the certainty. Herein is the idea of giving clarified and given meaning. Now you can perceive that by your giving is your store increased. Protect all things you value by the act of giving them away and you are sure, there's the certainty, that you will never lose them. Um, so I've made a mess of this because it's in process. But anyway, remember that this is the mythical me. And as we're doing the unselfing, we come to a place of, you know, this recognition where truth dawns in our thought. So we, we, we get something from the Holy Spirit. But again, it's still an idea. And it doesn't become ours until we transcend all self-interest and go back in with our brothers and share and extend it to sleeping minds in the sonship. And when we see the miracles that occur, the joinings that happen, we, we feel the, the felt state, the experience of extending that idea. Wow, it's really true. Look at this. You know it, your brother knows it, a holy instant occurs, there's a joining, that's when it becomes yours. So that idea becomes known. What was a thought is a certainty. You've embodied it here, yeah? So he's saying you've got to, you know, give it to keep it. Yeah, so anyway, we're blessing ourselves only as we transcend these self-interests says give gladly because you can only gain thereby when we just get this truth and we try to hoard it for ourselves, it's not yours in fact what i'm hearing is that this dissipates the truth dissipates in our mind it's not strength it actually becomes weaker over time in the dream if you're not extending it if you're not making use of it right says the thought remains and grows in strength as it is reinforced by giving thoughts extend as they are shared for they cannot be lost they're not lost in the sharing there is no giver and receiver in the sense of the world conceives of them there is a giver who retains another who will give as well and both must gain in this exchange for each will have the thoughts in form most helpful to him what he seems to lose is always something he will this kind of goes off but anyway what he seems to lose is always something he will value less than what will surely be returned to him there's that resistance of um not wanting to transcend self-interest and not to share and, and it's the opposite the world says you lose by sharing but what we're recognizing is that you lose nothing the idea that you're sharing actually strengthens and it comes back to the one who gave in a greater form that's even more beneficial to him you can't it's impossible that we should lose in the extension and the sharing 
So says there's one common denominator, mm -hmm. all that we share <clears throat> in this instance. And that common denominator is going to be that our brother or sister is innocent, yes. guiltless and sinless, mm -hmm. right? So, you know, it, it seems to be that we're asked by Holy Spirit to, to share these ideas so that they, so that we, in sharing, we get to keep these ideas. That's and it. that's where the certainty and the conviction come from, right? Yes. In sharing. Um, but that's where our certainty and conviction come from. It's through the sharing that we are indeed sinless. Yes. And yeah. innocent. That's right. There's no personal awakening. There's no personal right. enlightenment. Yeah. yeah, that someone gets a revelation, an aha. Oh my gosh, I've got this, right? This is amazing. And most people will stop there and keep it for themselves and think that they have something, but it doesn't become yours until you take that. It's almost like it's a gift on loan <laughs> to see what you're doing with this. You take it and then you extend it and share it beyond the self. It's not a selfish thing. And oh, wow. in that giving and in the extending to a brother, there's an outcome from that. We don't know what that's going to be. It could be a physical healing. It could be a holy instant. It could be some manifestation. I don't know, but there'll be a blessing there that both of it, that will be undeniable to both of you. And he says, it'll take a very practical form that you cannot not recognize. And it's in that, that both of you took that idea and owned it. It became part of you. It substituted an old belief. And now nothing and nobody can take it from you. Beautiful. Yeah, from Beautiful. just an idea into knowledge. So the essence of what we're guided to share with our brother and sister mm -hmm. is always going to be, like we said, is going to um, it's going to increase their guiltlessness, their innocence yes. in their knowing oh, yeah. in us. It's also going to be empowering mm -hmm. to each other. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of teachers, you know, in the world, it's spirituality, there's a lot of teachers and students. And the spiritual ego that's teaching mm -hmm. tends to can tend to disempower the student. Yes. Not realizing that that they're increasing the gap, the gap diagram. That's right. Closing the gap. Right. right. So I'm just yeah, because it, yeah, definitely. This requires overlooking selfish interest. This is, I want this. And this means that what I thought I was is going to dissolve into the one. It means that what I have received, if I want to know the state, this one has to take what it has received and join with another to, to keep it. And that requires the closing of the gap, the joining of two split minds back into the mind of wholeness yeah so there is no private mind involved in this extension at all it's you want your brother to receive it as much as you want to receive it there can't be any you know private interests that's it, it what a relief yeah it and it's such a gift it contains everything it's the light it's the aha it's the knowing it's power it's dominion it's the dissolving of the gap it's healing and it's the undoing of the heavy investment we've had in the body through the ego, right? Yes. Mm, gosh, there's all kinds of things pinging off this page. Never forget that you give but to yourself. Mm. <laughs> Who understands what giving means must laugh at this idea of sacrifice, nor can he fail to recognize the many forms that sacrifice may take. He laughs at well at pain and loss, at sickness and at grief, at poverty, starvation, and at death. He recognizes sacrifice remains the one idea that stands behind them all. And in his gentle laughter, are they healed? Beautiful. Yeah. Now are we one in thought for fear has gone and here before the altar to one God, one Father, one Creator, and one thought, we stand together as the one Son of God, not separate from Him who is our source, 
not distant from one brother who is part of our one self, whose innocence has joined us all as one. We stand in blessedness and give as we received. The name of God is on our lips. And as we look within, we see the purity of heaven shine in our reflection of our Father's love. Now are we blessed, and now we bless the world. What we have looked upon, we would extend, for we would see it everywhere. We would behold it shining with the grace of God in everyone. This is our desires. This is what ultimately what we desire. We want to know this for everyone, everywhere, knowing it's just one. We would not have it be withheld from anything we look upon, and to ensure this holy sight is ours, we offer it to everything we see. For where we see it, it will be returned to us in form of lilies we can lay upon our altar, making it a home for innocence itself, who dwells in us and offers us his holiness as ours. That's a beautiful wrap-up paragraph to this entire diagram. We wouldn't want to not see it or experience it anywhere. And when that's what all we want, that's what we will experience. Beautiful, sis. Yeah. I'm reminded again here that <clears throat> what would, if, 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 you know, our family want to go a bit deeper, mm -hmm. is, is go uh, and look for the lessons of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yeah. Five. Uh, because he's got the three steps to reversing mythical me and the gap, you know, the ego thought system. There's three steps there. And, of course, the first one, which is what we're talking about here, um, and the second one too, but to have give all to all, right? To have mm -hmm. give all to all. I think that's a beautiful description of what we've just spoken about here. That's it. That's exactly right. To have all is to give all to all. Not to have one single exception, not one brother that you would keep out of that, and which includes yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Ooh. you. <laughs> I bless the world because I bless myself. That's right. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. Because I bless myself. Yeah. I first receive and then I give. And in my giving, that is when I receive. That's when you keep it. That's right. That's right. yours. You will receive it. Yes. Yeah. Permanently. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm always getting a kick out of the wisdom of love that just says love is the, the reason we ask. And it's love that responds to our request. And it's love that would extend it to a brother in, in response to his call for love. And then in that, we get to keep it. You know, love wouldn't leave anything out of the equation. Couldn't. All inclusive. So good to recognize this and, and to own it. Yes. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much for anchoring all of this in us. Thank you so, so very much. The gift of life is what you give. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sis. We'll see you guys next time. It's yeah, been a yeah. joy. Thank you.